The time has come to replace that old fiber bone tube on your desktop printer. All we need for this replacement is a 2mm hex key and a new desktop fiber bone tube. The first step is to verify that all the fiber filament is completely unloaded from the machine. Once the fiber filament is unloaded, we can unscrew the fiber bone tube at the printhead and remove it from the printhead. We can let it hang freely at this point. Now, we will use our 2mm hex key to slightly loosen the top left screw on the fiber extruder. Note, we do not want to unscrew this all the way and only loosen it. It should require no more than one full turn to loosen. Next, carefully remove that fiber bone tube and unthread it from the energy chain in the direction of the printhead. Note, the energy chain is a segmented black chain that holds the tubes that run from the extruders to the printhead. If the bone tube appears to be stuck, try wiggling it around, slightly changing position of the printhead, or using a pair of pliers to gently push the bone tube through. You should not need to use more than minimal force to remove this tube. Once the old fiber bone tube has been removed, carefully thread the new fiber bone tube from the print head through the energy chain towards the extruder. Make sure the fiber tube runs along the inside path near the center of the printer and it does not wrap around or tangle with the plastic bone tube. Note, if the bone tube appears to become stuck during this process, try wiggling it around or using a pair of pliers to gently guide it through. We can now reattach our fiber bone tube to our fiber extruder. Use the provided 2mm hex key to tighten the upper left screw. Note, be sure that the tube stays in place while you are tightening the screw and be careful not to over tighten and crush the tube. Now, insert the fiber bone tube into the print head and tighten that. Once we've completed this replacement of the fiber bone tube, we will now reset the fiber bone tube counter on the printer. Updating this counter on the device will warn you proactively when the fiber bone tube next needs to be replaced. To reset this counter, simply navigate menu, utilities, maintenance, maintenance schedule. You should replace the fiber bone tube every 750 cubic centimeters of printed fiber or if you notice any excessive damage or wear on these tubes. To officially complete this replacement, you can now reload your fiber filament.